so I chose this book, Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon, because I think it's got a great message and a really great character. And the reason is, is that we've all been called names, haven't we? Yes. Raise your yeah. hand if you've been called a name before. Yeah. Yeah, we've all been called names. And you know what? The sad thing is, is sometimes we can't avoid that. But what is really cool is, is what we can do about it. And how we act if something like that happens. So, this is called Stand Tall, Molly McFallon. <coughs> Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in grade one. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So show me proud. Notice that. <gasps> look everyone, how much taller you are when you sit proud. So nice. So she did. <laughs> Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, smile big and the whole world will smile alongside you. So she did. <laughs> Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, sing out clear and strong and the whole world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had often fumble fingered. What does fumble mean again? Molly oh, drops them. Dropping things. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, and this is one of my favorite lines. I think this is my favorite message from grandma. Believe in yourself, and the whole world will believe in you too. Right? Believe that you can do it. So she did. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends. And start in a new school. Oh, what do you think's going to happen? What's going to happen? Ian, what's going to happen? Uh, she could do all the things that her grandma said. She's going to do all the things that her grandma told her? Daniel? Uh, the people in her new school will call her names, so then she can just call them names back or something? Maybe, right? Um, she can stand up. She can stand tall, kind of like the title. She can stand tall against the people that call her names. Stand up. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin, and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt foolish. <laughs> she showed him, eh? She showed him that, you know what? I might be shrimp but I can get a touchdown. On the second day of school, 
Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked ten high on her teeth, and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee. Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. <laughs> right? I might be fucked too, but can you do this? Right? On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck. Honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out, Quack! So clear and strong, it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. <laughs> All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of of the afternoon. So why is everyone cheering that Ronald Durkin's gone? Bradley, why? He's being a bully. You think he's being a bully? Who else wants to add to that? Angelique? He's calling names to the other children too. He might be calling names to the other children too. Ian? He's being mean to uh, children every day. He's being mean to all the kids every day, not just Molly Lou, right? Not just to her. And Ronald Dur Durkin felt very foolish. Very, very. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said, Sorry, on the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd make the snowflake all wrong. But Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. That's so beautiful. All the children ooed and awed, even Ronald Durkin. <laughs> What's Ooh, happening with Ronald aw. Durkin? He's getting nicer. I am doing nice. Is he changing his mind about her? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, wow. He's starting to see that she's kind really of talented. She's really talented and she's kind of she's kind of a cool person, isn't she? Uh -oh. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. What's happening? You think they're turning into friends? Because she chose, she's still showing who she really is, right? And that's okay. It's kind of like the Grinch. The Grinch sees Christmas, but his heart has to get bigger before it turns nice. So his heart is getting bigger before he turns nice. It's so true. He is kind of like the Grinch and he changes his mind. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and a paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. It says, Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. Look at her grandma. I thought that was Molly Lou. You thought it was Molly Lou, yeah, it is like her. Yeah, that is a good one. It's a good it's story, a tiny right? It's a family. Yeah. It is a tiny family. So what did Molly Lou teach you? What does Molly Lou's story teach you? about name calm or how to treat people or maybe what does it teach you about yourself think about those three things what do you think georgia knows right away does anybody else have a th start thinking what idea georgia what do you think um, um it teaches you not to be bullied teaches you that maybe you shouldn't be a ronald durkin why, why shouldn't you be a ronald durkin because there's other people um, well, like you and friends It's, yeah, you're not making friends with so, anyone, are you? Um, the way you treat people, 
um, they'll treat you back the same way. The way you treat people, they're going to treat you back the same way. What else did you learn from this? Ian, what did you learn from this? So, oh, if you would be a boy, I'd do uh, treat somebody badly, and they'll treat you back at, at and they will do treat others the way you want to be treated. So treat others the way you want to be treated? Max, what did you learn? You could like, believe yourself if you don't believe you can do it. You can believe in yourself, right? Believing in yourself, that was a really nice one, right? Even if you don't think you can do it, believing that you can. That's a nice action. Action? Um, well, if, if like, they do something to you, you could tell a grown-up is the best thing to do. Telling a grown-up is always the best thing to do, yeah, especially if stuff like that happens. Didn't, do you think Molly Lou told a grown-up about some of these things? No. no. So how did she deal with it? She figured it out on her own. But how did she figure it out? What did she, she do? She never gave up. She never gave up. She listened to what her grandma said for her to do. She listened to her grandma's advice about what to do. Ian. Uh, they showed uh, a wonder him in that she can do stuff that boys can do. She, she proved to the bully what she can do, right? Yeah. Yeah. That what she he says say. doesn't bother her, right? What he said doesn't bother her because she can believe in herself. Great job.